Hi, Mark. I'm Vivian from Sophomore Listening and Speaking Class, and I'm going to start now. Chapter 11. Ten words in context. In the space provided, write a letter of the meaning closest to that of each birthplace word. Use the context of the sentences to help you figure out each word's meaning. Number 1. Flattened. Adjective. Scott's smoking is flattened. Not only does he light up everywhere, but his clothes smell of smoke, and his fingers are stained with nicotine. The company's disregard of the environment is flattened. It makes no effort to stop polluting coastal waters with garbage. Flattened means A. Unmistakable. Number 2. Light. Noun. Nothing has hurt our country more than the flight of drugs. There are two ways of looking at TV, as a flight that dulls the mic or as a valuable source of information. Blight means C. Something that harms. Number 3. Contrive. Verb. My 8-year-old son could write a book titled 101 Ways I Have Contrived to Stay Up Past My Bedtime. Jill has to contrive a way to get a day off from work for her friend's wedding. She's already used up her vacation time. Contrive means A. To think of. Number 4. Garble. Verb. The typesetter accidentally garbled the newspaper story, giving the reader only a mix-up article. The company had garbled the bike assembly instructions so badly that we were constantly confused about which step to do next. Garble means C. To jumbo. Number 5. Gaunt. Adjective. Abraham Lincoln's beard made his gaunt face look fuller. Sharon's eating disorder, called anorexia nervosa, has made her so gaunt that she looks like a walking skeleton. Gaunt means A. Very thin. Number 6. Load. Verb. The coach told his team, there is only one thing worse than a sore loser, and that's a mean winner. Don't gloat. Nail's sisters always tattles on him and then gloves when he is punished saying, I told you so. Gloat means B, to be overly self-satisfied. Number 7. Immaculate. Adjective. It's amazing that while Caroline always appears immaculate, her apartment often seems very dirty. Don't expect a child to come home from a birthday party with an immaculate clothing. Children usually manage to get as much birthday cake on their clothing as in their mouths. Immaculate means B. Spotless. Number A. Plagiarism. Now, when the author saw a movie with the same plot as one of her novels, she sued for plagiarism. The teacher warned her students that using an author's exact words as one's own is plagiarism. Plagiarism means B. The stealing of ideas. Number 9. Qualm. Noun. Larry is so honest that he has qualms about telling little white lies. For instance, it bothers him to say he likes a friend's new haircut when he really doesn't. After hiding Lori's spite as an April Fool's joke, I began to have qualms. What if she thought it was stolen and called the police? Qual means A. A guilty feeling. Number 10. Retaliate. Verb. When I broke my sister's stereo, she retaliated by cutting the cord of my Sony Walkman earphones. When Ron refused to pay his little sister for washing his car, she retaliated by washing it again with its windows open. Retaliate means B. Payback. Matching words with definitions. Following are definitions of the ten words. Clearly write or print each word next to its definition. The sentences above and on the previous page will help you decide on the meaning of each word. Question number one. An uneasy feeling about how right or proper a particular action is. The answer is nine. Question number two. 
To mix up or confuse as a story or message. Scramble. The answer is four. Garble. Question number three. To feel or express delight or self-satisfaction. Often spitefully. The answer is six. Gloat. Question number four. Something that we can damage or destroy. The answer is two. Light. Question number five. Using someone else's writing or ideas as one's own. The answer is eight. Plagiarism. Question number six. To play cleverly. Think up. The answer is three. Contrive. Question number seven. To return an injury for an injury. Pay back. The answer is ten. Retaliate. Question number eight. Very obvious, often offensively so. The answer is one. Latin. Question number nine. Perfectly clean. The answer is seven. Immaculate. Question number ten. Thin and bony. The answer is gaunt. Caution. Do not go any further until you are sure the above answers are correct. Then you can use the definitions to help you in the following practices. Your goal is eventually to know the words well enough so that you don't need to check the definitions at all. Sentence check 1. Using the answer line provided, complete each item below with the correct word from the box. Use each word once. Question number 1. A blank house may be a sign that someone has nothing better to do than clean. The answer is G. Immaculate. A, a, an immaculate house may be a sign that someone has nothing better to do than clean. Question number 2. Child abuse is an awful blank on the physical and mental health of our youth. The answer is B. Blight. Child abuse is an awful blight on the physical and mental health of our youth. Question number three. My aunt refuses to drive Mr. Elson to bingo because he blank so much when he wins, which is often. The answer is F. Gloat. My aunt refuses to drive Mr. Elson to bingo because he gloats so much when he wins, which is often. Question number four. The F's and D's on my brother's report card are blank evidence of how little he has studied this term. The answer is A. Blatant. The F's and D's on my brother's report card are blatant evidence of how little he has studied this term. Question number five. Emilio still hopes to blank a way to get Rita to go out with him, even though she's refused him more times. The answer is C. Contrive. Emilio still hopes to contrive a way to get Rita to go out with him, even though she's refused him four times. Question number six. When my friend Jamie left a message with my little brother, inviting me to go to the mall, he blank. It's so badly that the message I got was, Jamie wants you to go play ball. The answer is D. Garbo. When my friend Jamie left a message with my little brother, it might invite me to go to the mall. He garbled it so badly that the message I got was, Jamie wants you to go play ball. Question number seven. Every time the Hatfields harmed the McCoys, the McCoys would blank, so the field went on for years. The answer is J. Retaliate. Every time the Hatfields harmed the McCoys, the McCoys were, would retaliate, so the field went on for years. Question number eight. Rescued after being lost at sea for nine days, the men were terribly gaunt, but they put on weight rapidly. The answer is E. Gaunt. Rescued after being lost at sea for nine days, the men were that terribly gaunt, but they put on weight rapidly. Question number nine. My parents say it is foolish to give spare change to panhandler, but I always feel a blank when I walk by them and give nothing. The answer is I, qualm. 
My parents say it is foolish to give spare change to pen handlers, but I always feel calm when I walk by them and give nothing. Question number ten. Mark Twain joked that charts of blank were ridiculous because no one can be completely original. He wrote, "We mortals can't create; we can only copy." The answer is H. Plagiarism. Mark Twain joked that charts of plagiarism were ridiculous because no one can be completely original. He wrote, "We mortals can't create; we can only copy." Note. Now check your answers to these questions by turning to page 178. Going over the answers carefully will help you prepare for the next two practices, for which answers are not given. Sentence check two. Using the answer lines provided, complete each item below with two words from the box. Use each word once. Question one and two. The living room looked. Blank, except for a lump under the carpet. A blank sign that my son had taken a shortcut in cleaning up. The answer is G. Immaculate. A. Latent. The living room looked immaculate except for a lump under the carpet. A blatant sign that my son had taken a shortcut in cleaning up. Question number three and four. After the bully struck him. Jules wanted to blank by throwing a rock, but he had blank about doing anything so dangerous. The answer is J. Retaliate. I. Qualms. After the bully struck him, Jules wanted to retaliate by throwing a rock, but he had qualms about doing anything so dangerous. Question number five and six. The little girl was so blank. After she, her illness, that her parents carefully planned, fattening nails that were sure to arouse her appetite. The answer is E. Gaunt. C. Contrite. The little girl was so gaunt after her illness that her parents carefully contrived fattening nails that were sure to arouse her appetite. Question number seven and eight. At least I know you aren't guilty of blank. Said my teacher, nobody else would have blank the report so badly that it's impossible to follow. The answer is H, plagiarism. D, garbo. At least I know you aren't guilty of plagiarism. Said my teacher, nobody else would have garboed the report so badly that it's impossible to follow. Question number ten, nine, and ten. Well, it. Willie is a blank on our school. Not only does he start fights with opposing players on the basketball court, but he also blank after he's benched, as he, if he's proud of causing such turmoil. In fact, although he is a great player, the coach is pondering kicking him off the team. The answer is B. Blight. F. Gloat. Willie is a blight on our school. Not only does he start fights with opposing players on the basketball court, but he also gloats after he's benched, as if he's proud of causing such turmoil. In fact, although he's a great player, the coach is pondering kicking him off the team. Final check. A cruel teacher. Here is a final opportunity. For you to strengthen your knowledge of the ten words, first read the following selection carefully. Then fill in each blank with a word from the box at the top of the previous page. Context clues will help you figure out which word goes in which blank. Use each word once. It has been twenty years since I was in Mr. Brill's tenth grade biology class, but I still get nervous thinking about it. Mr. Brown was a tall, gaunt man with resembled the skeleton at the back of the room. His meanness was blatant. For his most difficult questions, he would call on the shyest kids, those most vulnerable, to the pain of embarrassment. And when they nervously garble their answers, he would gloat as if their poor performance were a personal victory for him. The discomfort of 
some of his victims was almost tangible, nearly as solid as the wooden pointer which he sometimes loudly slammed across his desk, just to shock us. He seemed to contrive situations just to make us miserable. For example, if our fingernails were not immaculate, we were sent out of class, as we as if we needed clean hands to detect a frog. One time, I worked extremely hard on the paper for class, but he accused me of plagiarism. He said I must have copied it because I was too dumb to write anything that good. Without a qualm, he gave me an F, which ruined my average and demoralized me for the rest of the year. All of us students would imagine ways to get even with him, but we were too afraid to retaliate. Why a teacher like that was allowed to continue teaching was an enigma to us. One I still have not figured out. In all the years since, I have never met a person who was such a blight on the teaching prep profession. Andrew scores above, and in the vocabulary book performance chart on the inside back cover of the book. Chapter 12 Ten Word Parts in Context Figure out the meanings of the following ten word parts by looking closely and carefully at the context in which they appear. Then, in the space provided, Write the letter of the meaning closest to that of each word part. Number 1. Aid Teachers often find it difficult to motivate students to learn eagerly. The TV history series fascinated viewers which, with such details as the 17th century English children's hospital that gave each children two gallons of beer per week. The word part aid means a cause to become. Number two, bio. Helen Keller wrote a touching autobiography titled The Story of My Life. Biology is the science of living things, both plant and animal. The word part bio means b life. Number three, clam or clam. In 2001, American theater critics acclaimed the producers, which won 12 Tony Awards as the best musical of the year. The exclamation point is emphasized passionate, sudden, a surprise outcry, such as, aha, and that hurts. The word part clam or clam means a cry out. Number four, fine. The final word in many prayers is Amen, which means may it be so. Ooh, ah! The crowd exclaimed, enjoying the spectacular five minute final that closed the 4th of July fireworks display. display. The word part fine means see and number five, flex or flex. Gymnasts must be extremely flexible so that they can bend their bodies into many positions. When they enter church, Catholics genuflect gen that, that is, they bend one knee as a sign of reference. The word part flex or flex means A, bend. Number six, force or fort. The burglar forcefully entered the home by breaking the kitchen window. The children made a high wall of cracked snow to fortify themselves against a snowball attack by the kids across the tree street. The word part force or fort means C strong. Number seven, hum. We have done all that is humanly possible to save your grandmother's life, said the doctor. A resident of the shelter for the homeless complained. The treatment here is not human. We want to be treated like people, not objects. The word part hum means the having to do with people. Number eight, hater, hatred. Mike just became a father, so he's taking six months paternity leave to help care for the baby. 
patriotism was so strong that soldiers willingly risked their lives to defend their fatherland. The word part "pater" or "patri" means "see father." Nine number nine, semi. My grandfather is only semi-retired. He works part time as a plumber. I use semi sweet chocolate in my first thing to keep it from being too bitter or too sweet. The word part semi means a partly. Number ten word. Everyone at the fair looked skyward in horror as the colorful hot air balloon exploded. The children tried walking to school backward. They gave up before even reaching the end of their block. The word "part" word means "b" in the direction of. Matching word parts with definitions. Following are definitions of the ten word part. Clearly write or print each word part next to its definition. The sentences above and on the previous page will help you decide on the meaning of each word part. Question number one: Band. The answer is five, flex or flag. Question number two, partly, half. The answer is nine, semi. Question number three, light, of living things. The answer is two, bio. Question number four, father. The answer is eight, tatter, tattery. Question number five, cause to become. The answer is one eight. Question number six. In the direction of toward. The answer is ten word. Question number seven. Call cry out. The answer is three clam or clam. Question number eight. Drunk. The answer is six force word. Question number nine. Person. Having to do with people, the answer is seven. Whom? Question number ten. And the answer is four. Fine. Caution: Do not go any further until you are sure the above answers are correct. Then you can use the definitions to help you in the following practices. Your goal is eventually to know the word parts well enough so that you don't need to check the definitions at all. Sentence check one. Using the answer line provided, complete each italicized word in the sentence below with the correct word part from the box. Use each word part once. Question number one. Little Jesse Lutley blank that his father was smartest man on the block. The answer is C. Clam or clam. Little Jesse Lutley exclaimed that his father was the smartest man on the block. Question number two: A blank is any cycle of periodic changes in life, such as daily changes in body temperature. The answer is B. Bio. A biorhythm is any cycle of periodic changes in life, such as daily changes in body temperature. Question number three: The jury found the disturbed young man who had shot his father guilty of blank. The answer is H, Peter or Petri. The jury found that this stupid young man who had shot his father guilty of patricide. Question number four. After a cold, rainy weekend of camping, the Boy Scouts were relieved to head blank. The answer is J. Word. After a cold, rainy weekend of camping. The Boy Scouts were relieved to head homeward. Question number five. My mother was so blank that she never once bent the rule and let me stay out past curfew. The answer is E. Flex. My mother was so inflexible that she never once bent the rule and let me stay out past curfew. Question number six. The candidates blank speech. In favor of reduced military spending, made a powerful impression on me. The answer is F. 
force or court. The candidate's forceful speech in favor of reduced military spending made a powerful impression on me. Question number seven. Uncle Ken was in a blank room in the hospital. The other man in the room had also suffered a heart attack. The answer is I, Sammy. Uncle Ken was in a semi-private room in a hospital. The other man in the room had also suffered a heart attack. Heart attack. Question number eight. There were only two blanks in the last session of the talent contest, and both were country singers. The answer is D. Fine. There were only two finalists in the last session of the talent contest, and both were country singers. Question number nine. The shop this month to do of South Africa received the Nobel Peace Prize for his blank efforts to bring justice to his country's people. The answer is G. Hume. Bishop Desmond, the tutu of South Africa, received the Nobel Peace Prize for his humanitarian humanitarian efforts to bring justice to his country's people. Question number ten. In 1961, administrators of New York's Museum of Modern Art were blank. He learned that for weeks a painting had been displayed upside down. The answer is A. A. In 1961, administrators of New York's Museum of Modern Art were humiliated to learn that for weeks a painting had been displayed upside down. Note: Now check your answers to these questions by turning to page 178. Going over the answers carefully will help you prepare for the next two practices, for which answers are not given. Sentence check two. Using the answer lines provided, complete each italicized word in the sentence below with the correct word part from the box. Use each word part once. Question number one and two. I looked blank. And watched the doctor tap my knee to see if it blank was normal. The answer is J, downward. E, reflex. I looked downward and watched the doctor tap my knee to see if its reflex was normal. Question number three and four. My supervisor, Mr. Ken, is blank. He blank the rules in a fatherly way. Firmly but kindly. In addition, my coworkers are all very amiable, making for a very friendly atmosphere. The answer is touch. Paternal. F enforces. My supervisor, Mr. Ken, is paternal. He enforces the rules in a fatherly way, friendly but kindly. In addition. My coworkers are all very amiable, making for a very friendly atmosphere. Question number five and six. After the accident, my brother was blank for several hours. Blank. Around midnight, he became fully alert and mobile enough to walk out of the hospital on his own. The answer is I. Semi-conscious. B. Finally. After the accident. My brother was semi-conscious for several hours. Finally, around midnight, he became fully alert and mobile enough to walk out of the hospital on his own. Question seven and eight. When the teacher asked students to write a blank, she meant the life story of a blank. But Harry wrote the life story of Tarzan, his pet snake. The answer is B. Biography. G. Human. When the teacher asked students to write a biography, she meant the life story of a human. But Harry wrote the life of story of Tarzan, his pet snake. Question number nine and ten. In 1863, Abraham Lincoln issued a blank freeing the slaves, but it would be almost 100 years after his announcement before real efforts were made to blank black people into societies. Mainstream. The answer is C. Proclamation. A. Integrate. 
In 1863, Abraham Lincoln issued a proclamation freeing the slaves, but it would be almost 100 years after his announcement before real efforts were made to integrate black people into society's mainstream. Final check. It's never too late. Here is a final opportunity for you to strengthen your knowledge of the 10 word parts. First, read the following selection carefully, then complete each italicized word in the parentheses below, with a word from the box at the top of the previous page. Complex clues will help you figure out which word part goes in which blank. Use each word part once. I almost fell out of my chair last night when my father proclaimed I quit my job today. I'm going to college. He realizes that people may think it's eccentric to start school at his age, but he's willing to appear odd because he's tired of summer skill, work in the factory. He wants a job that requires more skill and training. Both my paternal grandparents died when dad was a child, so he and his brothers were forced to quit school early to work. Dad finished high school at night. Now, he will virtually working only part-time in order to educate himself further. He still isn't sure what his major will be, but he has always liked science. He definitely wants to take a biography course because all living things interest him. He'd like to focus his efforts in a field that benefits humanity such as physical therapy, where he could help rehabilitate people with certain infirmities. He is also thinking about nursing. Most men of his generation think of nursing as women's work, so Dad's interest in this field shows me he is more flexible in his thinking than I ever realized. Whatever his choice, he is looking forward to classes with great zeal. I know that when he finishes his schooling, no one will be prouder of him than I already am. Thank you for your listening. Bye bye.